What's your my homies? DJ80 here and I'm just going to show you a short video um, of a little hack that um, I get asked about quite a lot. Um, it crops up a lot on the denim uh, DJ forums and um, it's about how to increase the volume on your mix. So you might record a mix on your USB stick and then when you come to play it back it's quite low. So um, it does get asked a lot um, and I'm always writing out the same answer but I thought I'd do a little YouTube video so you can see how it's done. So I've actually been delegated to the kitchen to do this but it doesn't matter because most of what I'm going to show you is on a computer screen. So uh, without further ado, let's crack on. Right, I'm recording on my phone so the quality might not be fantastic but it should be enough uh, to get you to your end result. So if you type into Google Audacity um, your first hit will be um, the actual software, which is Audacity. So this software is what we're going to use um, to increase the volume of your mini mix and it's freeware as well. So it doesn't cost you anything to use this. Um, also, I understand um, that some of you might not be able to use uh, or download software onto, onto your computers. Um, Audacity also does have a free version called Audacity Online, which um, is on Google so you will need a Google account to use it. Now I haven't used the Audacity online um, but looking at the screenshots here it seems to be exactly the same as the Audacity that you would download. So this is the one that you want Audacity here and if you click on the link it takes you to the Audacity website and when you scroll down you've got the option here to download Audacity for, um, for Windows and for Apple. I've already got this so um, I'm now going to launch it. So when you launch Audacity, this is what you'll see. So I'm just going to click OK there. All right, so I'm going to take my USB stick. All right, funnily enough, I actually did uh, a little mini mix. It's a practice run for a live mix that I'll be doing um, in a week or two's time. So I actually have one here to edit. So you open your USB stick, you go into sessions and that's my mix. So I'm just going to click and drag that to Audacity. Now, depending on um, your laptop or the computer that you're using, um, will depend on how, how quickly um, it takes. Oh, I know I've got a prompt there. One moment. Oh, it's just loading in. So um, I think this mix that I'm loading here was about an hour long. It may be even longer than that. Um, obviously, if it's a shorter mix, it will load up quicker. Um, the laptop that I'm using at the moment is only only a month or two old, so it's quite fast. But you might have to be patient. In fact, I'm going to edit this video and uh, start again when it's when it's loaded up. So it's all loaded in there now um, and as you can see here my mix was just over 55 minutes long. You've got the option to uh, zoom in and zoom out. I'm not going to give you an audacity tutorial. It's quite easy to use. All right so to improve um, the volume you click on that big square here on the left and that highlights all the track and then you go in to effect at the top and we want amplify so click on amplify and I've already preset mine to zero decibels so um, I think it will come up um, normally perhaps about minus four or minus five um, but you just type in zero there um, and, and it sorts it all out for you. So click OK. And now what it's going to do is amplify the whole track. Oh, it's doing this quite quickly. There we go. So if I just zoom back out again. Oh, didn't want to do that. So we can see the track's been amplified now. What I'm also going to do is just cl click on the little square here. So I've definitely got my track highlighted. I'm going to go into effect again and I'm going to go down to normalize. 
click on that and I'm just going to change that to zero click OK now this might take a little longer no? it's going quite quickly my old laptop took a lot longer than this so. all right so what we've done now is we've we've done all you need to do we've increased the volume of the track so I'm just going to take it to the beginning I can't remember how much excess silence I had at the beginning so I'm just going to zoom in a bit I'm clicking zoom up here and then I'm going to scroll to the beginning of the track and you see this flat line here that's just silence so I'm just going to delete a chunk of that so my mix starts pretty much straight away so I haven't got like four seconds of silence so, so all you have to do is you click in a space and drag your mouse along and then just press delete like that and it's gone so now I've only got half a second of silence at the start and I can also drag this all the way to my end of my track And if I want to do the same here at the end, click highlight by dragging and then delete and it gets rid of the end there. Okay, so I've done everything that I want to do now with my mini mix and so I have to save it. So to save, it's quite straightforward. We're going to file and we want export. I'm going to export it as an MP3. Now I can't remember off the top of my head um, whether SoundCloud only accepts um, OGG. Um, I use Mixcloud, and I think that uses MP3. So um, you've got options there: MP3, WAV, OGG. Um, so I'm going to use MP3. Click on that, and then it asks me where I want to save it and I want to save it, uh, da, 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 da. where do I want to save it? Do, 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 do. Documents, mm, 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 mm. mini mixes. Okay, so you give it a file name, um, and this is our first, I'm just going to call mine part four, it's a mini mix, um, I do every three months, and this is the fourth part save this an mp3 click save and now we have to write the tag information so i click save now this is um, this box here you can leave it blank or you can fill in some information and what this information does is it's written to your mini mix so if for instance if you're playing it in the car you know when it scrolls across the screen and it says the name and the artist and um, other information well that's done through tagging so um, if you want that to be on your mini mix then you have to fill in some information here so i'm just going to quickly type in dj80 um, mini mix part four practice and then i'll just add the year as well 2020 so that's what you have to do. You can leave it blank or you can just write your DJ name at the top, whatever you want in there. And then just click OK. And now it's going to save the mini mix and it will be louder um, than what it was when you first recorded it. So I think I should still have the original. I was expecting a prompt. Sometimes when you first load, you know, when I dragged the track in, and, and dragged it over to Audacity. Sometimes you get a prompt and it says to you, do you want to create a copy or do you just want to overwrite the original? Um, so I always um, create a copy. Right, I'm going to uh, just stop the video recording here and then I'll start again when it's done. Okay, that's all done. So um, I can just check that I've got them. So if I open this file here so this is this is the new one mini mixes 
and then my other file this is the old one um, so this is the original on the USB stick so I will actually I'll just shrink those a sec so all you have to do then is just close audacity save project before closing and click no because I've already exported it okay so I've exported it and it saved that file so I don't have to save this project and there it goes and so let's see if we can notice a volume difference so this is the original uh, let me just check my volume stick it stick it on 50 so this is the original volume Stick that up to max. Don't know if you can hear that. It's really quiet. In fact, I'm going to turn it up here. Okay. Okay, as you can hear, that that's quite quiet, isn't it? So, that's the original. Now let me take the one that we've run through Audacity. Uh, there it is. Oh. Okay, so this is your Audacity version. And as you can hear, what an incredibly nice guy he is. And as you can hear, the volume is much better. Okay. And that is how you use Audacity. Right, I hope that was helpful. That's how you use Audacity to increase the volume on your mini mixes. Um, so you can upload them to the various sites where you want people to listen to them. Hope it's helped. Um, and until next time, I'll see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.